Hey, hey, it's around here. Welcome to another tech tutorial on System IO where we're going to discuss the carousel feature. This is one of my favorite hidden features where it's an element in the editor and there are so many use cases you could do for this. You can set up a carousel where it's going to display all of your different templates that you're selling or all of the different courses or all the different modules or all the different pictures if you want to showcase a portfolio or if you want to showcase people that you worked with or testimonials or days when you're doing challenges or modules, it's just got so many use cases and I absolutely love that feature. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen and show you how to make use of this awesome feature. And if you got any inspiration from this video, you got ideas on how to use this particular feature, this element, then please leave a comment below with how you use carousel in your landing page, sales page, and so on. I'd love to hear your ideas so we can kind of share it in the community so people can learn from each other. So share your ideas below. I'm going to also leave some examples of pages that I have used the carousel feature so you can actually see what it looks like on a page. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen and show you how it's done. So in order to create the carousel, we're going to first of all, put a section. So we'll just click on it and you'll see the section right here. Then you're going to go to this under media, you'll see carousel and you're going to click and paste this here. Now you've got a carousel feature and you just got to pay attention. You see, if you click on the section, you won't see it. If you hover over the carousel, you'll be able to see it. And you could see that you've got different slides, slide one, slide two, and you could just add more and more and more. Now, for the sake of demonstration, you're going to basically going to add an element to here. Now we're going to use this website is inspiration. So you will notice that this person has this thing just jumping from one picture to the other. And you see these little things right here. Okay. Now we're going to see how we can replicate something similar in system.io as much as we can. So first of all, you will immediately have to have the section that it is basically as much as possible on the left and right, or give it a bit of space in order to have the arrows here. So now with the carousel, we're going to upload a picture into the carousel. So now we got a picture in and then you'll notice there is things here at the bottom. Now we're going to click into the picture. We're going to click here. We're going to click on add images and we're going to click on this image just for purposes of demonstration. And this is now the picture. Now you will notice a couple of things. You will notice we've got these five dots because there's five different slides. So now when we actually look at the carousel, we can customize how we want things to look. First of all, we've got the margins and you can see that it's zero. Now, if we want these to be at the bottom, then we can do something like going here and making the bottom, let's say 40, and then let's see if that makes any difference at all. So it doesn't look like it made any difference. And then we got to then look at the controls, right? So display arrow, we can click here and then we got to check, change the colors as well. So let's make those colors a little bit more obvious so we can see what they are. Now we can see the arrow here. Okay. And now we're going to go back to the carousel. So we see right now we're in the image. We're going to click back into the carousel. And now we will go instead of the margin, we will look at the padding. So let's add and make this 100. And now we can see that the image is made smaller. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make this, let's say 40. Now we've got the dots here at the bottom and we got the errors right here. So now what do we do with that? So first of all, we've got the option to get rid of those arrows completely. Now, how do we get rid of these dots? So at the time of recording, it doesn't look like you can get rid of these dots. You can get rid of these. Now, the way to get rid of these dots is if you don't want it to be visible, that's okay. You just make it white because white means it's going to be dis disabled basically. So that's how you would get rid of that. Now we've got these errors and now we've only uploaded one slide. So now we're going to do slide number two. Now, in order to make sure that it doesn't look the same when it's moving, we're going to upload an image again. We're going to click here, click here, go to images, and I'm going to put a different image. So here you go. We're going to make this bigger, as big as possible. For the sake of demonstration, let's make this 1000. And now we're going to go to carousel again. We're going to go to number one. And if you look at this image, you'll see it's one, two, six, seven. So make it 1000 as well. All right. Now, obviously this now depends on the size of the image, because if you were to try and go the highest, it's only going to go this far. Okay. So this is because that's the size of the actual image. So you just got to be cognizant of the image size. Now we're going to go back to carousel. We're going to go to slide number three. Again, we're going to exit from the carousel. We're going to now grab the image and upload it again. We're going to click here. We're going to click on the image, go to my images. We're going to upload another one. Click on insert. Let's make this a thousand if we can. There we go. And now you will see that we've got those errors here. 
Now here, what we can do also is on the left and right, we're going to go as much as we can. And then you will notice also that this section is, is basically maximized to zero. Now, if you were to look here, you will notice that there's a row. So you can actually maximize it even more if you want, but that's going to be really, really on the side. So leave, give it a bit of space as well. Now we're going to click on Save Changes. I'm going to click here. And now let's preview what it looks like. We should have three different slides and you should be able to see the slides right here. So one, two, and now we can both do it in both directions. Now notice that you won't see the three dots here because it's not visible, but it will be visible if we give it a color basically. So now let's just for the sake of demonstration, we're going to now give this a different color so it's kind of more visible. And let's just say we want this to be on the picture itself. So we're going to go back to carousel. I'm going to scroll down and on the padding, you're going to notice that on the bottom, we're going to make this zero. Now it's going to push this up basically. So now if we were to try to preview it, we're going to click on preview. You're going to see those dots right here. And you can also click here to be able to move them. Now, if I go to number four, there's not going to be anything visible because we didn't upload an image basically. So that's how that works with the editor and using the carousel feature. Now, unfortunately, at the time of recording, there isn't a way per se to uh, make it so it's automatically sliding, but this is good and good use case for an example of a website like this. And it's also a good use case if you want to display different modules because you don't have to use just pictures, for example. You can actually have different use cases. So for example, on this slide, let's just say I want to showcase different software that I use. So let's say I'm going to put an image and I'm going to say system.io. Now I'm going to put some text here. I use this tool to build my entire online business. Okay. Now I'm going to put two rows right here, and I'm going to put one video, which is going to basically be a video review of some sort. So let's get Kajabi versus system. There you go. Here's my video comparison. Grab the link, post it here, controls, give it a control. And now I'm going to put here three reasons, three best benefits of using system. Let's just say, right. And I'm going to put bullets like so the editor is the best. The pricing is amazing. Everything is in one place. I can have unlimited everything. Let's just say, okay. And then I'm going to do a couple of things. I can do another thing like so, and I can put a button, which is going to be, let's say my direct link, for example. So I can put it a link like so, and I'm going to put an open URL open in a new window and I'm going to grab this URL, which is my direct affiliate link. I'm going to now change this and say, learn about my bonuses or my bonuses like so. And then here I'm going to put another URL, which is going to be some, uh, some free PDF, right? Or whatever. Okay. Now I've just created a whole different thing with this particular, uh, section basically, which is super cool, right? Now, Here's the thing you might be wondering, okay, that's cool. What if I want to have a background color for this, all of this? So what you'll notice is there is basically no way to put a background color behind this feature. However, there is another workaround that I could do. So what you can do is you can actually put what's called a content box inside and the content box, we're going to put everything inside the content box like so, and then we'll put this row right inside the content box. I'm going to put this up here like so. And then this content box, we're going to put a background color like so. Background color, here you go. And I'm going to make, turn this off. And then I can make this a little bit like so. And there you go. And now I've got a completely different look and feel for this particular carousel, which is inside the content box. Now the content box also, you will notice it's got padding of its own. So I'm going to remove the padding. All right. And then inside the carousel, I can move this up. I can move this down. I can move it in the middle and so on. So you've got a lot of different customization you can really do with this particular feature, not just photos, but hopefully this gives you a bit of an indication of the different use cases. Now notice that now I've got this picture, this picture, this picture, content box. Okay. So this is how you can really customize things and make things really cool. So. This is a great way to showcase different courses, showcase different templates, showcase different things that you might want to offer and so on. So that's about it. Hope you got value from this little tutorial on using the carousel feature.